I'm home caught, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you around? You and Tupac, down. y'all had an interesting dynamic. You and I spoke uh, kind of about it on the, uh, on, on the phone and how, you know, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, Tupac, was your that's your little homie? Yeah, last words, younger. last words was you and Q. Well, Pac's you know. thirteen years younger than me, right? Right. And I, I knew Pac ever since he was in Digital Underground, mm-hmm. and you know, as he's moved up in the gangster rap ranks, of course, I worked with him, but I was not a fan of Pac hanging around L.A. gangbangers. You know, me being around it and growing up in it, and Pac being from the Bay. If you're from the Bay, you don't really truly understand L.A. gangs. I'm just being honest, right. and. No matter how down you are, how gangster you are, L.A. gangs, you you join an L.A. gang when you're 12, 13 years old, and you build a bond. So when you're 20, like Chris Brown or somebody, and they say, I'm in a blood gang, you're not. You know, mm-hmm. they'll, 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 they'll come to the club with you. They'll party with you. Mm-hmm. But you ain't putting no work with them. Right. The, the bond is different. Exactly. The bond is different. Yeah. So I, I just worried about Pac. And uh, when Pac first came, he was hanging out with the kids from the, um, um, Rated R and Macadocious, mm-hmm. the first Thug Life kids. Them kids are Crips. Right. So then, you know, when he got with Suge, you know, now he's dealing with Bloods, right? Okay. So, you know, I would always just, like, get at him, you know, like, you know. But he was so hot. Yeah. He was so hot. And I had, I told you a story. One night, Shock G, rest in peace, showed up at my door. Mm-hmm. So I'm living in Hollywood Hills. I get a knock on our door. I open the door, Shock G. I'm like, fuck you doing here? Cause he like, man, I'm just up here in the hills. I asked if any black people lived up here. They said I used to. <laughs> wow. Knocked on my door. But he sat with me. He said, Ice, man, I wish you could talk to Pac because Pac respects you. But everybody kind of knew Pac was pushing the line. Yeah. And at the end of the day, he crossed the line, getting involved in gang shit, you know, fighting over a chain. And to a gangbanger, a gangbanger that's really gangbanging, it's like an insult to them. Like, it's like, you know, you're a rapper and you're, you're stepping in our area. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the, like I tell people, I'm angry with Pac. Mm-hmm. Like, a, like, like, a, like, like, that's my kid. Like, yeah. I mean, nah, I'm not gonna say he was my kid, but he was like a youngster. Like a to little me. brother. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember when Pac came over my house and he played Hit Him Up to me. And I was like, so I was like, oh, you know, the first line was, I like, fucked your bitch. I was mm-hmm. like, huh. So I, I've always, you know, and when I say this kind of stuff, you know, the Pac stands, they're like, you're supposed to be riding with Pac no yeah. matter what. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, my job as an OG exactly. is to give him a little guidance. Exactly. You know, and I believe that. And you, you won't just hear me say that. You'll hear a lot of West Coasters say the same thing, that, you know, anyone that, I'll tell it to anybody. If you're not from L.A., don't fuck with the gangs. If right. you come to L.A. and you decide, oh, I'm just going to move into Hollywood Hills and you meet some Crips or you meet some Bloods or you meet some Pyrus or you meet some MS-13s, it's not the best idea to become friends and hang right. out with right. them or jump into that gang. <clears throat> <laughs> exactly. You know, it's yeah. just not the best idea. So, I, I mean, I miss Pac, and I love Pac. You know, but was he? Well, you think he was? He was angry at you for not jumping out there with him? Nah, he he wasn't really angry. He was maybe just like, come on. I, he yeah. just felt like we. He didn't have any animosity towards me. Mm-hmm. I didn't have it. When I'm saying I'm angry, it's just I'm just mad. Have you ever been mad somebody died? Yes, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm not. For sure. I'm not. Yeah. I'm. 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 I miss him. Yeah. It's like you made some mistakes. Right. So you know, I've said it, and people, oh, you know, they. they I guess they take it wrong. Yeah. You know. Well, Ice T thinks. See, things of it is in, in Stan view. I can't tell Pac nobody because Pac is exactly. here and I'm exactly. here. But that's not how that's it not works. The truth. Yeah. It works like. You know, seniority. Yeah. I can sit Snoop down. Snoop be like, yo, OG, yo, whoop, whoop, whoop. You know, I'm older than everybody. Yeah. Real talk. You know, so it's not about who got the most records. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, and I wish he might would have paid more attention to myself and other people. I mean, if he had heated the, 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 the information, he could probably still be here. 
It, I mean, it's literally, yeah. I mean, we all kind of know it was one false move. Yeah, one false move. I mean, no, like, no, it, no, it was accumulation of false. But right, I'm saying, right. but, but, but that situation, you know what I'm saying? You hit the, you got involved in, in gang politics. You hit a motherfucker who you probably, you know what I'm saying? Baby you didn't Lane. have no business hitting. You yeah. know, you didn't know that he was that, you know, because again, you're not in the hood. You, you don't know. You don't know who the enemies really are. You know what I'm saying? Where are you from? Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. I come to Kansas City, Missouri. I'm Ice T, and I go out on one of those blocks, and yeah. I start getting involved in their gang shit. It's just yeah. not. No, no. It's no. yeah, and I've been in L.A. 20 years, you know, and I know Pyrus. I know niggas from Grape Street, from Santana, all over. But it's different, you know. You can be associated and know people, but you don't take on. Oh yeah, I rock with niggas from woo woo woo. When I, I don't know what what court, when what I goes say this, there. I don't know if it's resonating. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you're dealing with niggas that are never gonna make a record. Like right. let, they're not in our world. They're right. in a whole nother world. Right. And they a lot of them have animosity towards you. Mm -hmm. Yo, Ice T, yo, you you rapping about me living. You know, yeah. you rapping how I'm living. Exactly. Some of them's like going. I I remember when I first started rapping and. You know, the gangbangers be like, yo, you said, you say 111 in our, you know, they want me to say that, the yeah. sets, you know. But then some of them be like, yo, nigga, like, they could have an attitude because <clears throat> I yeah. might pull up with a badder bitch. Yeah. I might be doing something that they not. Remember, these are, see. I heard one OG say something about <laughs> you, which I was shocked because mm -hmm. I've never heard anything bad about, mm -hmm. you know, but mm -hmm. well, I ain't going to say his name. You probably already know who I'm talking about. Um, I think his name starts with an M. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, he said he was just like, yeah, uh, yeah, something, something for that motherfucking iced tea. Yeah, you good. I forgot what he called you. Good jewelry store heist ass mm -hmm. nigga. But you know you ain't, you know, that type of shit, mm -hmm. which I get as well, you know, even on my level. Well, I wasn't. You know I mean? I'm not, I mean, if you compare me to a gangbanger right. that's out shooting, killing and stuff right. like that, that wasn't me. I'm right. a good jewelry store heist nigga. <laughs> that's what he called you. You know, so, 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 so he knew, he knew what it was. But yeah. a lot of times people, See, when you say gangster rap, they want immediately put you into gang banging. Right. right. And I never portrayed that. I'm a gang banger. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, but, you know, they knew. And mm -hmm. most of the cats also, even no matter how old the G's are, I'm older than them. Yeah. So it's like even like talk about Big U or somebody like that. Big U will say Ice is the big homie. Right. Ice is Which older. I've heard him say. Yeah, yeah. Ice is Ice is yeah. older than me. I used to see Ice and them yeah. pull up with jewels and the bitches yeah. and the fila. So... There's not there's nothing fake about, you know, my history and I don't portray to be Mr. I'm not Monster Cody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Rest in peace, by the way. Rest in yeah. peace. But but my thing is like I always respected the gangs. I'm aware of the gangs mm -hmm. and I know how they operate. And I tell people to be mm -hmm. weary of LA.